Some school districts are just now reopening for in-person learning. So you may be surprised to learn that a group of public schools on the peninsula have had students on campus for nearly the entire school year. KPI X5's John Ramos explains how they got past fear of the pandemic to keep kids in the classroom. When it comes to education, for most people, this has been a lost year. But there is one small district in the Bay Area where things have been remarkably normal. And there may be a lesson in it for all of us about how they chose to deal with the pandemic. The sound of children playing is nothing new at Encinal Elementary School in Menlo Park. The five schools in the city's district began bringing the littlest kids back to campus clear back on September 8th. And by the end of October, all kids were back in the classroom. They were the first district in the Bay Area to reopen, and for a long time, they were the only one. We definitely thought that more districts would would be following more quickly. Um, no judgment. Uh, you know, we recognize that there are a lot of constraints out there. Most kids have been on a hybrid system with a full week at school for core academics like math and English and the next week at home for enrichment classes like art or music. Students are tested for COVID every two weeks and there have been occasional cases, but the contact tracing has detected them early and so far there hasn't been a single instance of transmission at the school. Fourth grade teacher Susan Preston says the staff's fears were eased by the district's emphasis on something called design thinking. Yeah, I know I do a lot of design thinking in my classroom and I really, uh, for me, I always look at a problem and say, okay, what can I do to fix this or how can I change this or how can I make this work versus I can't do this because this is in my way. Look for ways to solve a problem that may be stopping others. It is a mindset popular in Silicon Valley and with the district superintendent. Maybe there's a solution out there that has already been tried and it's worked, but maybe not, right? And the problem is, is that we so rely on what we already know as opposed to trying to take some risks with what we don't know, with what we haven't tried. It's like we had one of the world's most pressing problems to see if it actually works. Um, and I would say um, it worked. Yeah. And parents say being willing to accept that risk has made a huge difference for their kids. You know, despite the pandemic, my children are thriving and it's because they're able to be in school. And that to me is just, it's just a blessing. In Menlo Park, John Ramos, KPIX 5. The district says the most COVID-19 cases came during the Thanksgiving surge, but currently they have gone seven weeks without a single case being reported.